In today's video, let's talk a little bit about the gold market. Um, we're going to start by looking at a weekly continuous chart here. And we have bounced off of support so far. The only problem is that there's a lot of resistance on the way up. And we need to clear that to believe that we can continue to rally from that low towards the potential upside target up at this 1598 area. Okay, this is the um, weekly continuous chart. Then let's take a look at um, the regular gold, uh, the De not December, the February gold chart. And we've been kind of stuck between decisions here. You know, we had uh, time and price at this low. We had time and price at this high. We had a decision here. If it held above here, we we're going to look for higher prices. We knew that if it broke underneath there, we we're going to look for the extension to the downside instead. But it did hold. It triggered entries. And it still has higher targets um, till up around the 1493 area. So if we take it down to the lower time frame chart, actually we can probably do it on the uh, on the 30, we can set up a pullback for a possible entry. Okay, and remember, as with any of the setups, you always want to wait for a trigger that tells you that it's worth placing a bet against the zone. But right now, let's run the symmetry from the recent high. Got a couple of the swings here. We've got one more swing here. And then we'll look at, um, see if there's a 618 that overlaps this area. And it pretty much does. So the area that I would look at, if it tests and holds, you go and look for a trigger on a lower time frame chart. And the zone is 1476.20 to 1477.80. If it breaks underneath that instead, then I'm going to back off until further notice because that would vote for at least a deeper downside correction. So let's see if it holds or not tomorrow.